Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Marie and today I've got four really inexpensive, fun projects for you to try today. I've got a new paint technique that I've just found and I tried for the first time and I'm absolutely loving it. So I hope I'm sharing something that you guys have never heard of before because I was really excited when I learned this new paint technique. So let's jump right into the first project. Have you ever wondered what to do with leftover tiles from a project that you've been working on? Maybe some extra tiles from the bathroom or the kitchen? Well, this might be a solution for you. Okay, these are all nice and clean now and we're ready to do our first coat. We're gonna use this color first and then we're gonna go in after, probably this is gonna take two coats to get rid of um, these two designs here. Not too worried about the edging because we're gonna go in with a black over that. So yeah, let's get these two coats done first then we can get on with the design. Okay, this is what the first coat looks like. We're gonna go in with the second coat. This one I went in a bit thicker, so you can see the difference between the two. So yeah, I'm gonna give this a second coat now. time to mix the magic ingredient we're going to take three tablespoons of baking soda one tablespoon of paint one tablespoon of school glue we're going to mix it all together until it is a nice thick consistency as you can see I've placed my stencil on the tile and you can see how thick that paint is now I'm actually using an old library card um, to scrape it onto the stencil and you can see how thick it is I'm just working nice and slow because I didn't tape or glue the stencil onto the tile I've just left it there and I'm holding it with one finger basically so I'm spreading the paint over and as you can see it's a really nice consistency And as you can see, it has a nice raised texture. I absolutely love this. going to dust off these edges and these loose bits do a bit of touch up and then I was going to leave the sides cream but you know what I think I want them to be black um because this cream here and this cream is, is, is a different color so I don't want them to clash with one another so I'm going to go ahead and go around the edge and do black right I've brought the pieces outside and I've propped them up on two flower pots and I'm now spraying them with finishing spray. This is the spray I always use. And as you can see, we now have the before and the after. Okay, so this next thrift find, um, isn't it cool? That water isn't real. Look, it's painted on, it looks so real. It fooled me, I went to, I went to brush it off and realized it was paint. Anywho, uh, this was um, a thrift find, it was also $3. The first thing I'm gonna do is remove this back off and then we're gonna give it a good sand. Okay, 
let's give this a quick wash and then we can start sanding this down. So we've sanded it down and now I've wiped it down again just to get all that extra dust off. And now we're gonna go in with our first color. We're gonna do the edge first and I'm gonna do that black. Done. I'm going to let that dry. Um, I've got a couple of smudges on the corner here, but we're going to go over that anyway, so that doesn't really matter. So I'm going to let this dry, probably give it a second coat, then we'll go in with the white. Okay, the two coats around the edge has been done. We are now going to go in and use this chalk paint, the linen white, which is my favourite, and we're going to do probably two coats on the top here. So one of the great ways to make extra deco for your kitchen is to get an old rolling pin from the thrift store and I think I paid a dollar for this one so I'm going to give this first of all a really good sand down including the handles it's in really good condition it just needs a really good clean up and then we're going to give it a little bit of a paint. Okay, so sanded, washed, wiped all the dust down again. The first thing I'm going to do is paint the two handles black. And just remember this is now becoming a deco piece, it can't be used for food. doing a double width of masking tape on both ends now I actually ran out of the blue masking tape so I had to go purchase the white I'm just checking that it is the same width here which it is so I'm going to do the same to the other end
Now I wanted to distress these stripes and as you can see on the right hand side you can see some of the paint is missing from the stripes. Now that's when I removed the tape and I really like this look so I thought you know what I'm going to go in with some sandpaper and I'm going to distress it some more. However when I started to do this it smudged the black paint so I went back to my tape and I reapplied the tape over the stripes and I put some pressure on the tape and I removed it and that removed some of the paint, leaving it a really nice distressed look. So I was really happy with that in the end. Right, so this is uh, another thrift shop find. This also was $2.99 and I've brought it outside to my front porch because I want to show you the colour of my wall and the colour of this plaque. As you can see, it kind of blends in. So I need to paint this. Now I have dark, look, there's dust on everything. <laughs> so I have dark brown trim. I have like a green door and then I did this copper and brown and it has blue flecks in piece of decor so i'm thinking i need to bring some of those colors into this plate right let's go do it I really hope you like these projects. I really enjoy doing them. And as you can see, they were really inexpensive. Three of them cost $3 each and one was a dollar. So super affordable. And if you're sitting there at home watching these videos thinking, I'd love to give this a go, go do it. Go to the charity shop, go to the thrift store, find something really inexpensive and just try your first project. And you never know, you might get hooked. And you never know, you might even start a YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Oh, subscribe. I need to add, sorry for looking like a complete mess. I've been at work all day. It's now the evening, so I'm just finishing up editing and it will be on my channel tomorrow, Sunday. Thanks a lot. Bye. Mm -hmm.